Hi, I'm Paris and I'm here this morning before jumping in my morning shower because I'm going to be trying out a new shampoo. Found this over at the supermarket. It is charcoal shampoo and of course with that you need charcoal conditioner from a company called Hask. Charcoal with citrus oil cleanses, clarifies, and purifies. Well, I'm gonna be in good shape after this. I'm not sure what exactly it will do to my hair, but if it looks better or grows some more, I'm all in favor. Epic review, guys. So five bucks for a bottle of charcoal shampoo. I found this at my local HEB supermarket and I'll link to it down below this video if you'd like to find out more. I recently did a video review of a charcoal face mask from Yes to Tomatoes and it actually did make my skin feel nicer and softer so maybe charcoal in the hair will do something for me. I think secretly though what I hope is some of the color may rub off. And if the charcoal doesn't stay in my hair long enough with just the shampoo, I also have charcoal conditioner. This bag, which I guess you get several uses out of, depending on how much hair you have, goes for about $2. This was right next to the shampoo at my supermarket. I'll also link to this down below the video. Now I don't exactly have before pictures to show you to compare with the after pictures that we'll have, but here's what the unwashed picture looks like. Now uh, for the longest time, for years, this is the shampoo I used, Pantene Classic Clean Shampoo and Conditioner in one. I never really knew whether the conditioner did much of anything if you put it on your hair at the same time as the shampoo, but it was quick and easy, so for years this is what I used. Now if you look at any of my videos prior to early this year, my hair in those videos is curly of this shampoo and conditioner. Now a few months ago at the supermarket I saw this and I decided to switch to it solely because it's completely clear and I just really like that. This is a sheer volume shampoo. So I haven't been using a conditioner and I guess this is what I get as a result. Today I'm going to be trying out the proper way of doing things with the shampoo and the conditioner put in my hair separately and in the right order. I will show you um, what this looks like in the hair. I'm, I'm curious whether this will lather up black and charcoal-y, and if it does, maybe I'll get a little bit of highlights out of that. So why charcoal in shampoo? Why charcoal in face mask? Why charcoal in toothpaste? And yes, I have reviewed that in the My Magic Mud. The reason is charcoal is supposed to have some special qualities that allows it to absorb oils, dirt, and impurities. My thinking is it's got a very fine grit to it. So it's like a very gentle abrasive. And when you rub that on your hair, you're sort of sandpapering it just a little. So it has the effect of taking off oil, dirt, whatever may be stuck on, that if you just put a shampoo that bubble some and you rinse it off, you don't get that same effect. Same thing with brushing the teeth. And in the face mask, I don't really know the mechanism by which it's supposed to remove the oil and dirt because it doesn't really get a chance to scrub on your face, but supposedly the charcoal, just like when you uh, use it in your fish aquarium it, or in your water filter, it's supposed to be good at absorbing and holding on to things like chlorine and other things that might be considered impurities. It happens on your face, hair, and your teeth as well. Whatever the theory is, the proof is in how it looks after you use it. Let's hit the showers. All right, let's see what it looks like. Gray, mostly. I don't need more gray. Disappointed that it doesn't lather up as black charcoal. It's very um, thick and kind of stiff feeling, the shampoo. And it's um, got a, a citrusy cucumber kind of smell. So it's nice. It it's, um, definitely doesn't feel like it's gonna run down into my eyes like the shampoos that I usually use. I left it in for a couple minutes, I rinsed. This is as clean as it's going to get. Feels clean. Time for the conditioner. When it's in a package like this, I feel like I'm supposed to use the whole thing. I won't. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot like the shampoo. This is like a mousse. Here's the conditioner. It's very oily and creamy. It's almost like a head mask as opposed to a face mask compared to a conditioner. But I'm not used to using just the conditioner. Maybe they're all like this. I don't care for the smell as this as much as I do the shampoo itself. The conditioner says you can leave it in for up to 10 minutes. Seems to have done whatever absorbing it's going to do. Well, rinsing it out went fine, except it gave an oily sheen to all the rest of me. So I've got to rinse my whole self off again now. 
I've been out of the shower for about 10 minutes now. Hair's just about completely dry. I don't blow dry it or add mousse or squirrels or anything like that. It's just natural. I can actually see more volume and I don't know if between the purifying and the clarifying if there's supposed to be more volume, but I can tell I need to get another haircut soon because now that it's a little more poof, this hair right above this point is curving up and this hair is coming down. So that should all point in generally the same direction. I think it's a result of the hair having more lift. But you saw me at the start of this video. And for those of you who've seen me in previous videos, either earlier this year when I was using this shampoo or in previous years when I was using this shampoo, here's how charcoal does for me. As for my own experience with it, I like the smell of the shampoo, not quite so much the conditioner. I'd rather stick with just how this smelled. I like that it didn't run down into my eyes. I often have that issue. These, I don't know, I guess it's just a function of how viscous the fluid is. And the other big downside for me was with the conditioner. And again, I'm used to using a two-in-one product. Putting the conditioner on and then washing while it does its conditioning then rinsing it off last, I don't like that because you just feel like you've just gotten clean and now you're covered with the uh, oil and not in a good gladiator Spartacus kind of way. But maybe that's just how it is with all conditioners or maybe I need to rearrange my schedule in the shower if I'm going to continue to use conditioner. Feel free to let me know what you think in the comments down below this video. Also, if you know of a product that might work better for this hair or what remains of it, feel free to let me know that too. I'll be back soon with more videos. You can keep checking back for those or you can click that subscribe button and the bell next to it. You'll get notified when our videos go up. See you on the next review. Epic.